Hello. <coughs> Hello, hello and welcome to this uh, Android programming tutorial. So today what we're going to do is go, we are going to install Android Studio. Uh, if you watch any of my other videos, you might have seen we, we have a tutorial on how to install Eclipse. Now, uh, sometime in 2013, Google decided that uh, Eclipse is not good enough. So everybody now has to switch to Android Studio. So it's been out... Uh, Officially for a while now since I think December in 2014 the the first stable version has been out and this is now the official way of uh, Making Android programs instead of Eclipse now you have to use Android studio and uh, I believe also Eclipse support will be Going away after a while so they, they will not be supporting both things so uh, Sooner or later you have to switch Okay, so uh, Head on over to the Android developer website. Uh, just use your favorite search engine. Type in Android Studio and you should be able to find this page. Also, the links will be provided in this video in the description on YouTube there. So, you can take a look at the system requirements if you, if you like to do that sort of thing. So, Windows 8, 7, Vista, da, 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 Windows 10 also. This is... I'm actually using Windows 10 right now. Uh, also runs on Mac and Linux. So uh, one of the things you need is the Java Development Kit, the JDK. So we're gonna uh, download that first. Again, head on over to the Oracle website. Again, just search uh, Google search or Bing, whatever, uh, for the JDK. I'm gonna click download here. Right, so the, uh, I always go for the latest version. So there's uh, 65 and 66 here. I'm going to go for 66. You have to accept the agreement. And then you download whichever version is the correct one for you. Now, if you are Windows like me, uh, you need to figure out is your Windows uh, 64 bits or 32 bits. So this 86 is actually 32 bits. So on, on Windows 10, you just right click here on the start button and go to system. And then you'll see somewhere here, it'll say 64-bit operating system. Uh, if you're in, on an older version of Windows, like uh, Windows 7, uh, what you need to do is right-click on my computer and then choose properties. And then this same window will pop up and you'll see the same information. So <clears throat> I was at 64-bit here. i download that one. My internet is a little slow, so... Right, so it's downloading. I'm just going to pause until it finishes. Right, so that has finished downloading, and uh, that's that uh, thing right there on my, on my desktop. Now we need to download Android Studio itself. So again, back to the Android Studio website. Just click Download Android Studio. You have to agree, of course, after reading all of this. Eh, download Android Studio. It's the same download, it doesn't matter if you're 32 bit, 64 bit, or whatever. Uh, unless you're, of course, you're on, you're on Mac uh, or Linux, it's a different download. But anyway, you'll find that on the same page. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for this to download. If you can see, my internet is very slow. Okay, so th uh, this is the Android Studio download. Right, so first thing we're going to do is install the JDK because that's required for Android Studio. Just going to start that. Uh, yes. This should be pretty straightforward. Just next, next, next. You know how these things work. Uh, don't change anything. Okay, so that's done. Just close that. Okay, so now we're going to install Android Studio. Uh, I usually like to run these things as administrator because this shouldn't be necessary, but uh, I've had problems in the past, so just run as admin, just to be on the same safe side. Again, 
you don't have to do much here uh, all the components you want to install so if you well maybe you already have the Android SDK you, you don't want to install it again you can uncheck something or just gonna leave everything as is which I recommend you do as well leave everything as is again so as part of this installation it will also install an Android emulator which is basically like a virtual device so you can test your application on the PC as you're programming you don't have to move the app into an actual phone just leave everything as is again recommended is 2 gigs of RAM here I'll leave that there install and we'll just let that, let that finish okay so we are done here installation is completed next start under studio yes finish and gonna launch under studio for the first time right now now if you I'm guessing if you have previously installed uh, Android Studio, you're not watching this video, so just choose I don't have previous version here. Click OK. I want to allow it on all networks in case you get this firewall thing, allow access. OK, as you can see here, it says there's an, there's an update available. This is because my download is actually a couple of days old. And also now it's downloading the SDK platform for Android 6, which I believe is the uh, Marshmallow, right? right? Okay, so I'm just going to let it finish downloading that, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I got an interesting error here. Uh, that the folder has failed to be moved, uh, blah, 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 blah. This might be because your antivirus software is... Is pre preventing it uh, deactivate your antivirus software or close any running programs yes deactivate your antivirus software that's what I like to hear from the software I'm installing uh, so so Windows 10 is uh, comes with a built-in antivirus called Windows Defender let's see here Settings, real time protection off. Alright, I'm just gonna turn that off. And of course, now I'm gonna get a thousand notifications that it's off. Okay, leave that off. Let's see what happens. Uh, there's actually nowhere to press, yes. Which is also interesting. And anyway, uh, let things continue and see how it goes here. So as you can see it has finished downloading it actually took me the whole night because of my very slow internet connection but uh, I think you won't have the same problem.